Hello everyone, today we'll be showing you how to weld uh, 3D clothing to your Roblox character in Roblox Studios. So first thing we're going to do is import uh, our 3D clothing. Uh, we can do this by going to view uh, and just getting the asset manager. Uh, go to meshes, then just quickly import your clothing. Make sure it's an FBX file. Uh, that way uh, the parts can be rendered individually. Make sure import file as a single mesh is checked off because we're going to be uh, welding the arms and torso as separate parts. So just wait for this to load. Okay, now that's loaded. Uh, it should be in your recently added. If you can't find this, you can just go back to your meshes. So I'm going to select uh, all of the clothing and just insert all the location. Uh, for my clothing, I just made the right arm. I got a bit lazy. I and I thought I could just copy and paste the other arm. So I'll just quickly go do that. Now we have our clothing, uh, we can just scale this down because I just realized it's quite big. And make sure you name the parts as well. So for this part, we're gonna have torso clothing. Uh, this will be the right arm. And now from here, we want to go to uh, Avatar, Rig Builder, uh, import an R6 character. If you do R15, you'd have to make separate parts for the forearms. And uh, that'd be a bit more difficult because you need more parts to weld. So for this video, I'm just using an R6. So use a block avatar. And this is the part we have to sort of line them up. So we'll scale this down. Let's close up. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to overlap the, the body parts. Sure no parts sticking out. Okay, uh, that looks about right. Now what we want to do is get the meshes and put them under the character. Uh, and now for the meshes, you want to insert a world constraint separately into each part. Just like that. And for the world, world constraint, uh, for the properties, part zero is going to be the actual mesh. So for this part, this will be the clothing on the left arm. And this will be welded to the character's actual left arm, like this. Which is the left arm body part. And do the same for the others. Right arm, sh right arm clothing should be attached to the right arm. Then the torso clothing should be attached to the torso. Just like that. And with that, the parts are welded together now. The meshes are welded to the part. So now to test it, we'll just name this rig start start character. Put him under start a player, and this should work. Yep, as you can see, it works. It's now welded to our character, and yeah, that's it. 